Good morning, YouTube. We are down here in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Fixing to get into dock seven back there. Now, we're probably gonna be here for a while. Shimon, what do you mean? Why would you be here for a while? How do you know that you'll be there for a while? Let me show you. Come on, where are we at? Yeah, there you go. Things are always... Hold on, y'all. That is why I think we're going to be here for a while. Anybody need tires? Who needs tires? These are small. So yeah. A whole truckload of tires. So yeah, our dock is back there. And uh, this is what we're about to offload. Thankfully, I'm not offloading anything. They're doing all the work. I've got some dispatching to do. I got some phone calls to make. So while I'm doing all that, it may be a good nap too, maybe. But while I'm doing all that, they ain't gonna be busy doing that. So anyway. Today is a 10-4 day. So make sure y'all hit up 10-4 insurance. Today's October 4th. Actually, hold on, let's let this van pass because I don't want no interruptions. All right, van, where are you at? What time is it? It's 9.30. Yeah, I'm not gonna get my hours back for another two hours or so. So, the, and then our next load is a, uh, a drop and hook, 24 hour facility with the same agent. I'm trying to get in good with this agent on these tire loads. Eventually they're trying to get it situated to where they'll have uh, empties over here, empty trailers. So, all right, is it dock seven? <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I went ahead and did this load for him. Dan headed from Midland, Texas, from West Texas to get this one. Also, uh, he's got a load for me going up to Chicago. Today is Friday, the Chicago load delivers Monday morning, so there will be no going home this weekend. But the ports just opened back up from that whole uh, strike situation, so hopefully we can get back to our usual grind, our usual lanes. how this is set up at all. There's a curb up here. Cause they had me park right there where I was parked. It's like just park up there until about 9.30. And then uh, back up to the dock. 
I was like, dude, that's gonna be setting me up for failure when it comes to backing up, but okay. And y'all got... Dude, I, I know how to turn this truck. I know what to do. Oh, that's the agent right there, guys. Hello? Hey, how you doing? He is, I'm actually, uh, give me one second here. I'm actually backing up to the dock as we speak. Uh, I got here last night at about 1.30 or so. Awesome, and then I'm grabbing the other one for you down there in, uh, what is it, Harahan, I believe? Okay, sweet. And then with the delivery, you said there is parking on site in uh, Chicago. Oh, I'm sorry, whoa, wherever I'm delivering. Okay, sweet. Sure, we'll do. Yes, sir. We in there? Can you say to stop? And we're in there. So we shall see how long this takes. Uh, agent's happy. He didn't think I was gonna get here last night. Um, real friendly guy. Real friendly. I like working with him. But uh, actually, so one of the drivers I dispatched, uh, they've been hauling for him. I'm about to get another driver I'm dispatching. If y'all need dispatching services and you're over here at Landstar, let me know. Let me know. I have space for one or two more clients for dispatching services. So shoot me an email. My email is down in the description. If you're using your phone or your tablet, hit that button that says more. You'll see all kinds of neat stuff down there in the description. But uh, also, if you need insurance, hit up Jessica Rush. If your insurance is in a flush, hit up Jessica Rush. Her uh, information is down there in the description below. And if you have gotten insurance through 10-4 already and you told them, hey, you know, Shimon Spencer from YouTube sent you, um, she'll send you a free shirt or a koozie, a 10-4 koozie or shirt. So I let her know, hey, I got insurance through you guys. Not a quote, but if you actually sign up and you're qualified for insurance, they'll send you a, a shirt or a koozie or something. And they just threw the ramp down. So but today's 10-4 day, so hit them up. Hit them up. But guys, y'all run that intro. Run that intro. Let me do some dispatching and some phone calls, and I will catch you guys on the other side of it. guys we are empty it is 3 30 in the afternoon 3 3 0 3 30 in the afternoon and we are finally finished so but we do have to talk y'all so you probably saw in the title of the video that we have a major announcement I will explain it here shortly, but let me uh, get here in the truck and get situated. As y'all see, it has rained, but I just got the phone call. We've been waiting on y'all. 
I just got the phone call we've been waiting on. So let's get in this truck so I can share the news with y'all. All right, guys. So here's the big announcement. So y'all know <laughs> I have gotten every comment in the world about my Freightliner FLD. It's a clapped out truck. It's a piece of crap. Why would you do that? Why would you buy that thing? I've got every negative comment in the book, but I've also gotten every positive comment in the book. So with that being said, guys, it is finally time to make the announcement what I've been working on. I've been saying in my videos, I got some behind the scenes. I got some behind the scenes. I got some behind the scenes. It is now time to make that announcement. So for the past couple of months, We've been working on this, and I think we finally got it set in stone. With my FLD, y'all know there's a few things I want to do with it mechanically. Uh, and y'all know we're cash flowing our business. We're not financing anything or nothing. Uh, there's a few things that we want to do mechanically with that truck. That is going to be sponsored by new YouTuber, FJC Trucking. New YouTuber, y'all go check him out, FJC Trucking. Go check him out. He is going to be sponsoring the, um, the mechanics of that truck. Anything mechanically, he's going to be sponsoring that. Now, with the interior, you guys know, I've been working with uh, Florida's Finest Customs down there in Tampa, Florida. Go check out their YouTube channel, Florida's Finest Customs. Go see the kind of work they do. They, I've been talking to them. And they, uh, they're going to be doing an interior build on the FLD. It's finalized. They're going to be the ones doing it. So, with that being said, um, there's going to be a sponsor that we brought on that's going to be sponsoring the interior build on the FLD. And that sponsor is going to be 104 Truck Insurance. 104. Yes, the insurance company I was hanging out with a couple of weeks ago. Miss Jessica Rush, y'all know Miss Jessica Rush works over there. A big shout out to Jessica Rush, uh Andy, Alex, big shout out to them. They are going to be sponsoring and paying for the interior build of the FLD. So we've gotten the numbers worked out. Um, they're going to be covering the fuel for me to get the truck out there to Florida's Finest Customs. They're paying for it all. Uh, they're taking care of me going down there. They're doing it all. So Florida's Finest Customs is sponsoring. They're paying for the interior build on the Freightliner FLD. So... <sighs> It's finally worked out, y'all. This has been, I couldn't, I had to keep this to myself for the longest time. And the news is finally out. It's finally been worked out. The numbers have been worked out. Everything is finalized. 10 for truck insurance. They are going to be uh, sponsoring the interior build on the FLD. Now, uh, y'all know the FLD, we want to get it ready for the Mid-America Truck Show. Matt's coming up in uh, March. And so uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be taking the truck down to Tampa and Florida's Finest Customs is going to be the, doing the interior build uh, on that truck, on the FLD. And then we're going to be bringing, so I got to take the truck up to Scranton, Pennsylvania to do the, to do the mechanical stuff with FJC trucking. Then we got to go down to Florida's Finest Customs in Tampa so they can do the, uh, the uh, interior build. And then there's going to be a shop in Laredo, the shop that I usually go to down in Laredo, who did the transmission on this truck and did the uh, differential on the FLD. They are going to be doing the paint and body work on the truck. So everything is finally situated, guys. Now it's just trying to get line up everything, you know, accordingly. So I don't know what we're going to do first. That's next on my part to figure out what needs to be needs to be done next. Um, but yeah. So I can breathe now. I can I can finally give you guys the news, but I've been holding this in for a while. I couldn't say anything, but when I went out there to meet with a 104, that's when we finally got everything situated. 
when I went out there a couple of weeks ago. So for those of you who've been saying it's a clapped out truck, blah, 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 you got a piece of crap, such and such. If you haven't seen Florida's Finest Customs work, they are doing the whole entire interior. They're doing all the upholstery. They are doing the floors. They're gonna be doing the dash, the uh, door, uh, door panels. Like I said, all the upholstery. Uh, and we're all gonna let them go ahead and do the lighting inside of the truck too. They're gonna be doing everything, the whole entire interior. I did find some cabinets that I can put back in this truck. I've been talking to a guy down in Edinburgh, Texas, uh, who's got, he's uh, parting out an FLD and a classic. So I'm gonna go down there and get some parts from him. And we're gonna pile all this stuff in the truck and we're gonna take it down to Florida's Finest Customs and they're gonna do the whole entire interior. So, so yeah, y'all, I got a lot of work to do on my end, you know, facilitating everything, but big, big, big shout out to FJC Trucking. Big, big, big shout out to 10-4 uh, Insurance. Um, but we finally got everything in place and they're gonna be sponsoring all of it. So, I wanted to share that news with you guys. But uh, anyway, as more, I get more information and as I'm able to share more information, I'll be doing so later on. But um, let's get on this road. Weather's gonna be kind of icky. Um, there's a buddy of mine I wanna link up with when I get out here to the Chicago area because we're picking up this next load in New Orleans and going up to Chicago. So anyway, y'all, let's get on this road and uh, get some miles in. Falling apart 
Right now you don't know where to start Right now the walls are caving in Right now you don't know where to begin Right now you're searching high and low Actually, hold on, hold on. All right, there's our trailer. So we're gonna have to, uh, I think he said I can put in dock 14. I think he said that. Otherwise, I gotta drop that trailer there, pull this one out and do all that back and forth crap. He said our paperwork is in the trailer. Cool. At least it stopped raining. That traffic was brutal. 
took us an hour and a half for about an hour drive, but we're here, we're safe. And those lights look pretty good on the side of the truck, huh? All right. So I just made the phone call. <clears throat> I gotta put this one in dock 14. This is gonna be fun. So actually, hold on. Where should I drop this one at? All right, so we'll drop this trailer here. <clears throat> Pull that one out. <clears throat> so can we go out this way? <clears throat> I really don't want to do this in the street. Just for liability reasons. I think what I'm going to do is we'll park this one in 14, pull it out and do all it from there. I don't understand why they make these parking lots like this, man. Because if I hit somebody else, I'm the bad guy. Okay, All right, we're lined up perfect. <clears throat> All right, got a little hump back there. This bad boy over. There we go. Okay. All right. You ain't got to be in a dock. <laughs> Let's do this now. This is going to be on an angle. I don't want to get stuck. Tricky getting backing that thing up in there. Okay. All right, coming right out. Perfect. I will have to lower it to get back under it, but it's fine. This is not too low. Now 
Now this trailer here, we probably will have to park it on the street. And there's a Walmart down the road there. I'm gonna go to the Walmart and get some groceries. I'll probably walk. I don't want to risk Walmart towing me or anything, but we'll walk down there. Okay, yeah, it's way up in there. little dip makes it weird. I oh, heard it lock. Let's tug it. Perfect. I mean, if I, if I was on flat ground, I don't have to raise this thing all the way up, but because we got that little dip right there, at least need to clear that, so. We'll raise it all the way up just to be safe. That way we don't get stuck. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, it's gonna be fun trying to back up into that dock. Then why would you park right here, stupid? That's 18 wheels calling. Okay. Now, where can we park this thing so we don't block anybody? Let's see. Can I go out that way? If I turn down this street, yeah, I think I can. There's no parking signs, but gotta do what we gotta do. Actually, we'll make sure she's all the way straightened out. Park right here. I gotta get that residue off of there.
tires look good. We've been on the road with these trailers, y'all. Woo, what in the world? That's gonna be fun to unload. <sighs> okay, paperwork is inside the trailer, is what he said. Oh, this must be it. Twenty-nine thousand pounds. Okay, we can do that. Uh, the one we dropped this morning was twenty-nine thousand pounds, supposedly. Uh, okay. Should've put my boots on. Ah, oh, get the zip tie. I got a zip tie I can put on there. It's fine. There's no seal. Oh, I'm not looking forward to putting that trailer in that dock. But yeah, guys, we're excited uh, for what's to come. I do want to say thank you all for being patient. But there's a lot of I's you got to dot, a lot of T's you got to cross. You know, there's legalities and paperwork involved. I can do this without busting my behind. Ugh. All right, I need to put my boots on. Oh. All right, landing gears down, airlines. All right. But yeah, I just want to say thank y'all for your patience. I mean, a lot of y'all have been waiting. It's almost been a year. We got that, well, we flew out to grab that FLD on Christmas Day uh, last year. And we're coming up on November. Right, let's get some AC going in here. Whew. It's humid down here in Louisiana. Who's calling me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, speaking? All right. That was weird. That's a solicitor. There's something about an electrical meter, but he used my childhood address. Like, what in the world? What kind of scam y'all got going on? But they keep calling me, like, every day. It's a Waco, Texas phone number. Okay. Yeah, guys, we're going to be heading to Chicago. 
well, Chicago area, I'll say that. Right there in between Chicago and uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's been a while since I've been up there, but we gotta get revenue. I'm probably gonna park on site to do my 34 hour break. Agent uh, said I can park on site, so. I know somebody's gonna say, why didn't you open your doors earlier? Because that is less of an opportunity to hit something with my doors. So my door's been open. That adds about an extra six inches on each side of me. Just sets me up further from a stake. Oh, please tell me you're in that gray car. No, dang it. All right, we're on there. We don't need the blue airline, we're just moving it. Just gotta supply air to the tra to the uh, trailer to release the brakes. Now, how am I gonna do this? Now I'll open my doors, but first I want to set myself up. All right. This is going to be fun. Ah, I love that new tire smell. I love it. Oh, I love that smell. Oh, yeah. Huh. But yeah, I got quite a bit of dispatching done earlier. Got one driver dispatched through next week, so that's a peace of mind. Today is Sat uh, Friday. I've got them dispatch dispatched till next Friday. Watch this deer guard. <laughs> now, I seen some people last time saying, just remove the deer guard. Like, why would I do that? A deer guard and defeat the whole purpose of it. Especially putting a driver in this truck. I'm not comfortable with that. I think I'm a little off. Yeah. 
They do not want to see us win out here, huh? All right. All right, so far so good. Gotta fly inside this bad boy in here. Of course, the stupid Nissan's in the way. What was that? I think that was my airline. Yeah, it's my airline. It's kind of what the heck. Let's close the gap a little bit so the airline will snatch out of there. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, let's swing hard to the left. Whoa, slow down, slow down. So for those of you who I dispatch, if I dispatch you down here, <laughs> you now know what to expect. Yeah, we're in a good. I don't like pulling my fifth wheel arm first, but we're on this angle, so it might get stuck. Try to leave it a little low for the next driver. Ugh. All right, dump. And that is it. And I still got a full clock because I parked on site last night. It took me an hour and a half to get down here. So I still got nine hours and 10 minutes that I can drive. So I'll probably try to make it up to the Jackson area, maybe Memphis. Do a 10 hour break and continue on tomorrow. I did take a pretty good nap earlier. So. I am ready to roll. But yeah, I got driver's dispatch, took a good nap. Had a conference call with 10-4. And something, I had another phone call too, I forgot what it was, but. But yeah, if y'all have any ideas, so y'all go check out Florida's Finest Customs YouTube channel and get some ideas. Y'all know I've dedicated the FLD to my wife. 
she's going to be in charge of um uh rebuilding that truck from the paint job all the way to the interior so if y'all have any ideas on a customizing shoot it down there in the comment section she reads the comments like i do Just creeping back and forth we did it's gonna count for my 30 minute break yep we're 30 minutes and 30 seconds cool come on get in there oh. I need to put a seal on that trailer. Star seals. All right. All right, what else we got? Like that got her done i'm gonna find a place to park go to this walmart over here and uh get groceries since we'll be gone for another two weeks and get everything we need for a while well i'll say two weeks really for a week so next thing I got a plan to get this truck dropped off to FJC Trucking and to Florida's Finest Customs to move on to the next phase, not this truck, but the FLD, to get her situated for um, the rebuild. So, so now I'm going to start making my way, take 55 all the way up to I said 39, going up to where we're going. So y'all are definitely going to want to see that. But guys, thank y'all for watching. We're excited. If you have any comments, any ideas comment down below we'll check them out uh i'm out of breath from doing all this back and forth crap it's humid out here but i'm gonna find somewhere to park this thing i might even just park at the walmart run inside of walmart grab a few groceries and uh get on throughout our day so guys my name is shimon spencer and you've just finished an episode of grinding gears i will catch you guys at noon 01 central standard time on the next one